No way! Oh my god, 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 oh
I didn't get unique on Dilfeningo, but I kind of need him for Leaderlord runs, and I kind of do want to run a Leaderlord run very, very soon. But we're we're kind of going through all these zero rolls really, really fast, and that's kind of making me a little upset. But, but that's okay because it's all gonna be worth it because we're gonna get unique on Dilfeningo. Oh, Godspeed is a great passive that you guys should definitely keep on Dilfeningo. But the, that's not what we're going for. We're going for the yep. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore the fact that I just did all these extra rerolls, and we're gonna go into our Infinity Castle with our Golden Farms. Yeah, all right, we'll be right back. So we're in Hero City, room 241. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, okay. Let's see how much we get on Clayson for him. So on Clayson, he gives us 240 gold. You have to like, Toad, that's literally only 40 gold more. But guys, you will see 40 gold is literally the difference between life or death. At least, well, I have unique units, so it really won't matter as much, which is 40 gold. But our unique home, they're just 34,000 damage. I have really nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and place all our farms down here. And then we're going to place, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at all that golden magic. All right, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I actually didn't even pay attention, so I got to upgrade him again. But look, we make 3,000 gold at the end of this upgrade with one steed card. Let's check it out again. So it's 240, 600, 1200, 2100, and then 3,000 thousand gold my gosh guys i can it's gonna sound like fake and all but i can feel the money that we're making go up insanely fast let me go ahead and just max out this speed cart right there one more upgrade we'll do it there we go speed cart snacks out and now what i will usually do at this point before i upgrade my bulma i would upgrade my oshi a little bit so upgrade oshi a bit and look at this bulma goes from 300 and 900 to 1800 3600 already whoops i gotta place down a an air killer whoops uh Uso, please i need you to go down there we go i kind of forgot to bring uh my metal knight whenever i do these runs i usually bring metal knight along with me because he's like the one that'll quickly attack these enemies i i did want to test something out with Usopp though because i have this i don't know why but i feel like Usopp's killing them through the shield let me see if that's true it doesn't okay so Usopp does not kill them through the shield which i I don't know why I thought it did, but we're kind of in trouble right here with this one Nomu that just got through. So let me place Uso a little further down right there. There we go. Let's upgrade our Oshi. She's currently maxed out. And then Bulma, 3,600, 6,000 for the next upgrade already. And she's not even maxed out yet, guys. Oh, these wing Nomus are a pain because they have shields. This is why I bring Metal Knight and so on and so forth. But there we go, 6,000. 9,600, and oh my goodness, she's gonna be making 12,000 gold on her max upgrade. Let's go ahead and have Honor use her time stop as well. 12,000 gold on her final upgrade. That is actually pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, ooh, can I get that last up? I'm literally six gold away. Um, what? I'm gonna be six gold away from getting this extra gold, but oh my gosh, guys. So we get an extra 2,000 gold from Bulma right here, right? And then we're gonna get ourselves an extra 1,500 gold. So a total of 3,500 gold every wave, which is gonna be absolutely insane for us. Cause now look, we're at 22,000 gold. Our Oshi's maxed out. So we're making a lot of money and now our units are really cheap to upgrade. So look, upgrade, 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 upgrade. And then well, one more upgrade, she'll be able to hit flying enemies, which is kind of why I bring home through. She has her time south ability and then she just kind of gets her air, air hitting style jutsu, which is really OP, but I am so, excited to finally have my golden farms i've never had golden farms as you guys know un until now and, and and it feels amazing to actually have golden farms all right Uso, you did great but now honor is literally just gonna do the entire job for us we're making so much money per let me see how much money we're making per wave actually so we got twelve thousand plus nine thousand that's twenty one thousand gold per wave Plus, you get a little bit of extra gold in the wave ends. Let's see. So we go from 14,600 to, and then I guess 40,000. Yeah, look. Oh my gosh. We got 24,000 gold from one wave. A golden farm is literally the difference between becoming a really good anime adventure slayer and a pro. 
and of an adventurous player. You know the the challenges, the tournaments where you need to have like golden farms and unique units? Yeah, I had the unique unit part, but I never had the golden farm. But now I have not one, not two, but all three of the golden farms. Look at this guy, 68,000 gold. Just sitting here in lane inventory, I can nearly max out this Tangan right here. It's quite insane having golden farms and spending Bodux. Of course, I don't suggest you guys do what I did. As I said, it took 3,000 rules on both my Steed Cart and my Bolna to finally get golden on both of them. The fact that I got both of them within 100 rerolls is insane as well. But hey, maybe you'll be a lot luckier than I will and you will be able to get these units with golden before, I don't know, maybe even like 20 rerolls. Because you guys are always tell me, hey Toad, I got unique on my unit and it only took one roll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. And I mean, for you guys, it's great. I'm happy that you guys are also getting very strong. I'm over here with like my 10,000 reroll video, and I'm still only getting divine. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, anyways, guys, double farm with golden is an absolute menace. I'm now a top anime adventure slayer, and I'm gonna get the shiny leader lord unit because I can finally do it with my double golden farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, of course, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Turn notifications on. I wish you luck. Hopefully AA is updating this weekend, and I'll see you guys later. For now, that's it. Reese's Bye!